Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ramadan Kareem to everyone. Here we are outside of the new Bayina campus and studio building. Alhamdulillah, we acquired this building about a year and a half ago and we've been renovating it since the vision for this building is to be able to produce goodness not just for the local community here but be a source of influence for goodness for a worldwide message inshallah ta'ala that spreads an awareness of the quran and a renewed uh, you know inshallah education of the arabic language so let's take a quick tour of this building so as you can see we've done quite a bit of the work on the first floor alhamdulillah and the two major pieces of this first floor are um, the masjid and the auditorium. So I want to sh show you a little bit about our masjid, inshallah. It's a very unique space. You know, taking into consideration, we wanted something simple, aesthetic, and at the same time, courteous to our entire community. The first thing I'd like to show you is our quick dad's room. A lot of times fathers come to the masjid with small children. We don't want them to be disturbed or feel like they're disturbing the rest of the congregation. So this space is there for them. Alhamdulillah, our wudu area is complete. And here we are in my favorite part, the musalla. As you can tell guys, Bayina colors, what I wanted to do in this space is first of all, keep it very, very simple. As you can tell the mihrab, the walls, everything has been kept very straightforward and simple. The sister section is in the back, the men's is in the front. And the goal behind this musalla is to actually, uh, inshallah ta'ala, keep it in continuous use. A lot of times masjids and masjid spaces, they're empty most of the day. But our intention here is to keep going educational programs going for adults um, and inshallah ta'ala keep this space underused throughout the day. So another really cool feature that I wanted to show you guys here is um, the mom's area. Just like dads, we wanted to show extra courtesy to you know, parents with young children. Moms also have sometimes needs to be in their own space while not missing out on any of the education. You'll notice the screens on the wall along here to make sure that even the ones that are further away from the khatib or the speaker are able to catch a very clear image. Uh, there is, you know, it's an open space so people can ask questions and interact, inshallah ta'ala. And here we are in the mom's room. And the purpose here is to be able to accommodate moms. Yeah, actually, a lot of moms are, I should say, in the main area, but here, moms with the extra crazy kids. But alhamdulillah, it's, it's working out pretty well this Ramadan. Now I want to show you guys one of the most exciting features of our building, and that is the auditorium. That's where most of the education courses, and I'm very excited that a lot of my tafsir work is going to go on, inshallah, in this auditorium. Alhamdulillah, this is it. This is the auditorium. Very, very proud of the space. Uh, you can notice the tiered seating here, the steps that are going down. This is where the bolted seating is going to come in. There's a state-of-the-art stage up front, alhamdulillah, and on the sides there's additional seating. So we're hoping that this is a, not only a, a big pillar for the community education, but also, inshallah, for a lot of our production work. So this, by the grace of Allah, is what we've been able to complete so far. And now I'm going to show you guys the second and third floor of this building, which is where we need all of your help. Let's head upstairs. So about the upstairs, inshallah, our intention is to really put every inch to work. Um, it's going to include a number of functions like the student campus, uh, the lounges, the extra classrooms, meeting spaces. But additionally, it's also going to house the entire studio. And I'd like to show you what that space looks like. As you can see, none of the work has been done here yet. So this is our second floor space. It's not much different from the third floor space. There is another floor above there. You can see that up there. We all know that the battle of our times really is the battle of influence. There's a, there's a need for positive, strong positive messaging, especially one that is rooted in the Book of Allah. And really that's the rationale behind the studio. We don't just want to do the top level of research in the study of the Quran and present its message in the most effective way possible. We want to do it at a level of quality, production quality, uh, and, and aesthetics that matches the best of what's out there in the world. And that's the intention behind putting the studio together. You'll notice the high ceilings up here are there so that the extra lighting that's required for a studio space are accommodated for. This space is going to get soundproofed and inshallah ta'ala a world-class world level of production is going to come out of here that our intention is impacts the entire world. This is one half of this floor. Along with that you can see upstairs that's going to be our offices and other spaces as well. On the other side of the same floor because we do want to utilize every single inch is actually the student campus. So downstairs you saw the auditorium and the masjid but when the students are not in class they're in breakout rooms, they're in 
study groups, they're doing other activities, and that all is going to be happening here. This is going to be divided halfway between the brother's side and the sister's side. What excites me about this building is there's going to be a constant flurry of activity between students, production, cor other courses going on, community activism, inshallah ta'ala, this is a space where goodness is constantly going to flow and impact the entire world. I'd really urge all of you to be a part of this incredible, exciting project. It's uh, My hope is that you feel ownership of this thing, just like we do, and please open up your hearts and contribute as best you can on bayina.org. Thanks so much for watching this.